Hi everyone, welcome to another Cardano Tech Coding Tutorial. This is currently the holiday season and I have some amazing news to share with everyone. I am now officially a Cardano ambassador, which means that the Cardano Foundation has recognized my contributions to the Cardano community as being exceptional and helpful to the community. I just uh, got that news and I was thinking that now that I am a Cardano ambassador, this is time to up the ante. I need to increase the quality of my content. And I started thinking, what could I make now? What sort of content would the viewers like now? And my mind instantly went back to this comment that I received a few months ago. Uh, so I looked through all my videos but I was unable to find that particular comment. Uh, so maybe there was no comment suggesting me this particular video idea and it was just something else that gave me this idea. Anyways, here is how the idea goes. You basically create a Discord bot uh, which allows all the members inside the Discord server to verify their wallets with the Discord bot. This is extremely useful in cases where you want to verify the ownership of a particular NFT or asset or you want to verify the ownership of a certain number of ADA before the user can be granted access to a particular text channel or a voice channel. Well, something to keep in mind is that I'll be mostly giving a high level overview of how the bot is supposed to work and I won't be writing line by line code like in my previous videos but I'll be showing you all the functions that will be used in this particular bot and you can pause your video at any time to look at the code. So let's put on our programming socks and start building the code. To start making a bot on Discord first, uh, turn on the developer mode from settings. Once the developer mode is enabled, add a new application. that add a new bot choose the right permissions that you want the bot to have in my case I'm just going to go forward with the administrator access now that we have created a bot we'll be adding the bot to our server so under the OAuth 2 menu go to the URL generator and choose the scope as bot under the bot permissions I'll just go ahead with the administrator to make everything easy now you can see that we have a URL on the bottom of the page which we'll be using to invite the bot to our server. The bot has now joined our server. As a last step, I'll be generating a token for the bot which will be used inside our code. Since we'll be writing this in JavaScript, make sure your computer already has Node.js and npm installed. So I started with an empty directory and then after that I added two files .config.json and index.js. The json file contains our bot token. I then proceed to add two libraries which we'll be using discord.js for interacting with discord and nedb for using a file based database system. I have imported some classes from the installed libraries and also our token. Our Discord client has also been initialized. Uh, so the last line of the code is what puts the bot into action and I've also added a boilerplate function. So what it does is as soon as the bot is ready to execute the commands, it prints out the user tag of the bot. Now we will be running the bot and trying it out. You can see that currently I'm in my Discord server and this particular bot is offline. Now what I'll do is I'll try to run it from the terminal and then see if the bot comes online or not. The bot is online so we know everything is working fine. Now that we know that our boilerplate code is working, we will make a new text channel in our server specifically for wallet verifications. We will be giving appropriate permissions in this channel so that only our bot can send messages in this channel and everyone else can only read the messages which are sent in this channel. So this is how the channel should look like. You should not be allowed to send any messages in the channel but there should be a button which you can press to start your wallet verification process. So now I have added a new function called send verify message which, which is called right after the ready logged in message. And what this function does is first it fetches all the servers that the bot is in. So a particular bot can be, is in, can be in a lot of servers and it fetches all the servers. Then for each server what it does is it uh, fetches the value of the server which you can uh, see in the uh, 19th line. And after that it fetches all the channels of the server. Then it iterates over all the channels and it tries to see if a particular channel is text based. So in li line 26 when we are checking if the channel type is equal to 0, uh, 0 type is for text based channels. So we are specifically looking for text based channels and the name of our channel should be wallet underscore verification. This is a channel which we have already made which, which I have already shown you. 
now what it does is it is uh, in this particular line starting from 29 uh, it is building the button which is which will be sent for verification so this is a button message which will be sent in that particular channel and finally what it does is it fetches all the history of that particular channel and it checks if a particular verification message was already sent in the channel so let's say if you already have a verification message in this channel you do not need two messages in the same channel so if the if the verification message is already sent in this channel then nothing happens else what the bot does is it sends a button which can be clicked on by the user and they can start their verification process using this button now i'll be running this code from a terminal and see if everything is fine so you can see that as soon as the bot is logged in it sends a message into the verification channel so it everything is working fine now that we have the discord bot sending the buttons in the verify wallet message we will be having a lot of users who will be clicking on that button so we need to have a way to catch those interactions and do something whenever a button is clicked now before we can start writing code for catching the button interactions we need to have a database initialized where all the verified wallets will get stored and we also need to have a system which makes sure that more than one person is never being verified because that will just overwhelm our bot so we also made a verification queue for that so let's say you are a user and you press the button for verification now what i want is i want some sort of pop up to come in front of you where you have a space where you can enter your wallet and continue with the verification so this is what we are going to code after now well this file is getting a little messy so everything related to the button will be in a new file so i've made a new directory called event handling and have added a new javascript file called button.js inside it button.js is going to have a function called button handler which has been imported into the index.js file now all that is left to do is to make a call to the button handler function as soon as the verification message is sent which is done here you can see that initially i started with an empty button.js file and then added some classes inside it once the classes have been imported i have set the module.exports to button handler function which is an uh, async function the async function waits for the pressing of a button and as soon as a button is pressed the async function displays a pop up to the user a pop up is called modal in the discord terminology and we have a helper function with us to help us build the pop up which will be shown to the user now that we have written this much code let's try running the index.js file and let's see what happens after pressing the button We are getting a pop up where we have to enter our wallet address in order to verify the address. Just to give a quick recap, here is what we have done till now. First, we made a new bot from the Discord developer portal and added the Discord bot to our own server. After that, we made a text-based channel which is just for verifying wallets. The bot sends a button message into that server and the users can press that particular button in order for their address to be verified. As soon as they press the button they get a pop up asking for their wallet address. Well this is it for this particular video. I'll be making the rest of the bot in the part 2 of this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you like this particular video and if you have any suggestions for video from your side please put it in the comments so you know I don't have to rely on other stuff for it. See you in the next video. Bye bye.